when we find out our tap water might contain traces of dangerous contaminants, what do we do? Buy that popular water filter that everyone else uses and voila, we're safe, right? The reality is that water treatment isn't as simple as buying any old water filter pitcher and expecting it to remove every nasty impurity. Because when it comes to addressing the contaminants in your water, filtering your water wrong could mean you might just be wasting money on a water filter that's making little to no difference whatsoever. Now the most important takeaway here is there is no one size fits all water filter. So I see this all the time. People are buying these filters thinking they're completely protected without knowing that the filter might not be effective for their specific water quality issues. Issues. If you get your water from your city, a good first step to find out what might be in your water is to look up your water utilities consumer confidence report or CCR. Now the next step is to test your water in the home specifically. The cheapest option here are DIY test strips, but they're limited in scope and only provide a rough indication of the concentrations of the contaminants detected. But for the most accurate and comprehensive understanding of your water quality, you may want to consider lab testing. So once you have your lab test results, you can choose a water filter that effectively targets the contaminants detected in your water. Look for manufacturers that, at a minimum, provide third-party lab testing reports of their systems. You can take it a step further and look for water filters with performance certifications from reputable organizations like the NSF, WQA, or Atmo. And you can leverage this information to compare filters and make an informed decision about your specific water quality needs.